in my March and February Pisces, also Aquarius and Capricorn as well. Check back for those particular videos starting with Aquarius season. Um, let's see, what do we have in store for the uh, the Aries Collective? It's Sun, Moon, and Rising. Check your placements. You can be a uh, Scorpio Sun in a uh, Aries Moon, which is a dead, that's a deadly combination right there, man. <laughs> All right, so... Um, my sinuses are draining, so you may hear my voice change just a little bit. Uh, shout out to the Pisces season. This is for March 19th. Shout out to my cusp babies, Pisces, Aries, cusp. Um, even if your birthday is a week before or after um, uh, Aries season, you may fit be a cusp energy, energy cusp baby. Sometimes you have it like that. This is from uh, March 19th, 20th. And also uh, all the way to uh, the 26th. So shout out to all the Pisces cusp babies. We're in the Pisces season going into Aries season as well. So this is my cusp reading. Strength card. All right. So right now, you maybe have a fire. I see the word passion. I've been passionate. I know a lot of passion and stuff. We're getting, we're leaving. Um, we're leaving spring. I mean, leaving winter, entering spring. All righty. So all things good. So say yes to all things good. No to all things bad. Divine heavenly Father and Holy Spirit. Divine heavenly Mother. Divine heavenly Holy Son. All angels and beings, elders, ancestors. What message do you have for the Aries zodiac astrologer? Placement babies. So you're uh, renewing your strength, which is going to make you happy. So um, take time, be cautious of what you're eating and drinking with the nine of cups. Ace of Swords is also here as well. So you're going to get clarity this season. Like I said, this is for March 19th through the, through the 26th, which is next Sunday. For my Aries and also my Pisces, Aries Cusp. Judgment is being rendered. All right, you need to renew your strength at this time. You also need to uh, enjoy yourself and indulge in, in something. Make sure you're drinking something like maybe your favorite be beverage to kind of relax you. Uh, right now, you're going to be happy and satisfied this season. You're also going to get the truth. It's not just clarity. You're going to get the truth. Truth, uh, you're working hard. So keep working hard. Um, you may be strength training as well. You also may be... Uh, Ace of Cups as well. Yeah, so you're working on your emotional happiness and fulfillment. Nine to the nine with the Ace of Cups is Ten of Cups, so a lot of emotional fulfilling and abundance. So you're gonna you're happy being happy during Aries season. This message can go for whoever's resonating with this uh, actual message. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You may be waiting for the truth and clarity to come in. Nine of Cups. So there's no illusions with this. And if you're waiting for certain particular things, uh, mentally, emotionally, physically, uh, spiritually. Make sure you check out also uh, my book, Manifest Your Life, over on lulu.com. And we have several other books like the Goddess Complex Personal Growth Planner to help with this uh, personal growth and development. Uh, eight, of, eight, of, eight of Pentacles, now Eight of Wands. So a lot of information for movement. Um, I do see training, skills training. You may be uh, working hard or, or getting ready to start a new career or going back to school education. I don't see the name of Pentacles out here, but... Uh, you have the Ace of Cups. So a lot of good health, a lot of emotional balance, and, and be happy during your season, uh, Aries. Whether you're Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Jason. Venus, something about Venus. Maybe Venus or Mars as well. Check your natal chart. You're not going to be stuck or stagnant. We're going into spring. Do your fertility ritual. Do your abundance money rituals. 
uh, your road opening with the actual uh, workings. Uh, yeah, you're going to be more so, I feel like you're emotionally healed or you're healing or you have healed or you've been working on yourself and just working on your happiness. Um, this, if this is a relationship, you're going to actually start dating. You're going to have to, you're about to go into a certain type of union. Um, you're emotionally, uh, you might need to call on Archangel Raphael or one of the angels of healing to come to in protection and also abundance in that area, especially Archangel Michael, Raphael, um, G, uh, G, this may be a Saint, Saint Geo or G, G, just something. I can't, I, I don't know. It starts with a G E O. G E O, or your name, your name may be Jeff or Geo, which is Italian, which can be a uh, Mediterranean or something of that nature. Here's the Knight of Pentacles and the Emperor. Um, Especially, you're going to get the clarity of truth over somebody, or this could be two different people, father and son, grandfather and son, or a grandson. Maybe a grandson or something like that as well. It's poking out to me and sticking out to me a little bit more. Um, you're you're waiting, especially if you're getting ready to go on union dating, stuff like that. It's because you are healed. You have to have, have done the work, and you have to be healed. Also, um... If you're an older person getting ready to learn a new things, or you may be offered something from two different people, or you may be uh you may be this older person learning something new. Uh reach, I see reach goal, reach something. Yeah, ten of cups. So there's a lot. If you've been working on your family space, you may be uh also uh have some type of Leo or Sagittarius placement. That's the only cars out right now. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, you, there's no stagnancy. So you're um you're getting your money right. You're nurturing a lot of different things, also including yourself. You may be, like I said, you may have a son that may be a Leo or a husband as a Leo. Um, you're coming, you're, you're becoming unstuck for pinnacles, especially when it comes to money. So stack that money, girl or boy. Um, with your healing comes a lot of emotional fulfillment, which also increases your money. If you've been working hard on gaining strength, working on your health, your body, your mind, body, and spirit, just any type of health, you're leaving what does not serve your highest good. You're going off on your journey or you have been going off on your journey. You're about to go learn something new. So you waited for your ships to come in. And now that there's like no, nothing in your way now, like now I can go back to school. Now I can go get a new job now. So it's promotional, universal promotion. No, uh, you're leaving what does not serve your highest and greatest good. So you're cutting out everything. King of swords energy with the Pisces car hangman, but in the reverse. So you're very enlightened. So you have enlightenment with no anxiety, no insomnia. So get a lot of rest or you've been getting your rest on. Let's see. Yeah, five of pentacles. So you're getting out of that five. I feel like you're getting out of five of pentacles, but make sure you, uh, you're leaving. Like I said, eight of cups and then also the five of pentacles. You're leaving your losses and things at, at the bay, which is at the at the sea. Like you uh, going to lay your burdens down, if that makes sense. I feel like you're no longer losing anything. All right, you're leaving what does not serve you. You're going more so into the King of Cups energy. You may be uh, dating or, or have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio somewhere in your life. This can be, this can come in conjunction. You're no longer paranoid or, or kind of cautious about certain things, especially when it comes to love and emotions. With Aries, they're very hot headed, but depending on how they were raised and things of that nature, because I, I have a lot of Aries in my life and also some friends and classmates, they were Aries. So I, I used to study astrology in people. By people watching different zodiacs and stuff like that. Of course, environment, upbringing, and stuff like that, that, that takes care of almost half of it. But um, they are very Aries is fire. Aries Leo Sash. Fire, 
with no normally it's the emotional part but with the aries they're more tied into the waters if that makes sense waters and also they're right in between waters and uh the earth sign the material stuff because we have the taurus out here as well queen which is the queen of pentacles um then you have also uh aquarius libra and uh gemini as well gemini's right after aries season if that makes sense Let's see. So you're no longer cautious about things, emotion. I think I feel like you're emotionally ready, also mentally with the ace of swords here, and also the strength card. So you're balancing yourself out. Balance is the key this year. Going into spring, summer, and fall, but definitely spring, you have to be balanced. If you uh in, have any inequities or anything, you need to balance that out right about now. Leave what does not serve you if it don't make you happy, and you know it's not something that you need in your life. It can be from spring cleaning to, you know, uh, depleting uh, things that don't, like, you don't need anymore. You know what I'm saying? Be cautious of charity. Uh, you need to donate to charity. Tower card is here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, judgment, Sagittarius. Double Sagittarius here. The tower clarified by the judgment. So this is judgment render. If you did the work, you're coming unstuck. If you did not do the work and you are emotionally fucked up and unbalanced, your ass is going to be stuck. Your ass is about to be stuck, like really, really stuck. Um, But you have that... You have the judgment card here. What else about Aries season? Yeah. Um, I'm going to just take it like this. Six of Swords. You're leaving with the, with the Six of, uh, with the Eight of Cups. If it does not serve you, you're going, you, you've you gone off on a journey. And this is ju just something that you had to do. And then Six of Swords. Six of Swords. That means your ass is out of wherever. You are going on a journey. Do travel. Uh, travel journal and travel journey. Do a travel journal, video journal, vlog, or something of that nature. That may be uh, for somebody in particular. Yeah, moon card. Uh, lunar. Lunar eclipse is really big. And that came up in a, in a meditation state. Let's see. I love my little artwork I put up here. Uh, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Earth sign as well. You may come in conjunction. Or also this may be your moon uh, sign as well. Um, Aries Leo. Aries Leo Sash is Wands. So this is you. You're, you're stepping more so into your enchanted beauty. You're more so stepping into your the magic that's within you. And other different things as well. All righty. Uh, we don't want to make this video long. Book your readings. Ooh. Okay, Queen of Cups energy. You're stepping into your Queen of Cups energy. Also, you're so you're more so not only passionate, but also you're emotionally fulfilled. And you're stepping into the Queens. How many Queens we got out? The Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands. We got the Emperor, Strength Card, temp Temperance. What else? Ten of Cups. Oh, we got the Hangman Reverse, which, which is good. Uh, King of Swords, King of Cups. So you're more so, you got the, 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 you're going into union with self. Also, this can go for your partner and things as well. All right. Eight of Swords energy. Um, if you do not balance out your actions with your emotions, which is an Aries problem, it can put you in this Eight of Swords. Clarify this Eight of Swords. I feel like it's more so what you think you manifest. If you got a dramatic, gossipy, uh, negative type of mentality and you display it is what you do and how you feel that's how an aries gets messed up that's how they get messed up all the time you run your mouth too much um i know a good i know a lot of good and and and, and bad Pis uh not pisces aries just like i said i've studied people since high school middle school all the way to now co-workers things of that nature Seven of Pentacles, a lot of growth. So taking yourself out, 
you're gonna step i feel like step back and either fix this which is being calming not hot-headed anymore but tempered with the tempers being you to temper your emotions and that's gonna help you nurture some things in your life become a better parent all that type of stuff because you got the queen of 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 pentacles here with all this as well then you got the queen of cups and stuff like that so those are two mother cards then you got the uh no emphasis out but the queen of wands queen of cups what is it queen of pentacles king of king of swords king of cups emperor so you have authority somewhere you may be a parent or, or getting ready to become a parent but there is strength in balancing your emotions and being happy which is high vibrational if you're an aries that's not high vibrational you can kiss your your friend group job goodbye you can kiss all these things goodbye union and all that type of stuff you have to learn not to be so mean and, and groggy if you're not high vibrational because being high vibrational is what's going to make you more magical Balancing out your emotions, that's any zodiac person or person, per, pl uh, person, person, no matter the placement. If you don't work on your emotions and your mentality, you got the nine of cups, you got the strength card, nine of cups, and then the ace of swords. Your communication, you, you need to make sure it's matching your emotions and your mentality and who you are as a person. Because if it's not, you're going to get tough up. I've seen a lot of dark, low vibrational Aries type of women and men. Honey, you don't balance out them emotions with your mentality because the way you communicate, you're going to lose your job. You're going to lose a union. You're going to be sitting there waiting, and you're not going to know what's real and what's fake, fiction and illusion, all that type of stuff. You're not going to know any of, any of this. All right. So this has been Aries read. This is the first reading. You have Ten of Pentacles coming up. There's a union coming up. Also, uh, I see the word CEO something. I don't see the second word with it, but CEO. You may be... Uh, Do the work, healing, healing, healing. This is judgment, though. If you do not do your work and walk away for do what does not serve you, you will miss out on everything. I've seen Aries and stuff miss out on a lot of stuff, just like any other sign. But it's a certain way that they're hot headed and 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 will not temper themselves. It means you need to heal and and, and balance yourself. Know when to be fiery with your communication. And when to be tempered and, and balanced with your emotions. Either way, you got to be balanced in a way. So this has been Brittany from the Goddess Complex LLC here. This start has been our Aries Collective reading for Aries season. Uh, our next video for the collective will be uh, later this week or early next week. You can catch the live stream later this week. And also you can catch... Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Should I say that? You can catch the hands if you don't pray. <laughs> <laughs> catch these hands and make you pray um there's a lady on youtube she's awesome uh awesome uh no tiktok tiktok she's on tiktok i catch her every blue moon uh but normally i used to catch her almost every other night i'm not really on tiktok because i've been working on the books over on lulu.com type in the goddess complex llc and you'll see better left unsaid our poetry and uh poetry book and also um our other uh journaling uh workbooks which is the Growth Planner 2023, and also which is 240 some pages of uh, personal growth development activities. Also, the Manifest Your Life uh, 2023 Book One, which is Prosperity and Wealth. Uh, that's out now over on lulu.com. Uh, download those books. Those are ebooks that you can take on the go, put on your computer, tablet, and even your phone. All right. So I love you guys. Book your reading. Look in the uh, description box below in the description section. Follow me on all social medias, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, even uh, Goddess Complex 7 over on Snapchat and, and Twitter. And follow me on all other social major social media. Type in the Goddess Complex or the Goddess Complex LLC. And um, I have readings still available on sale. So you can get $65 for a one hour reading uh, and also spiritual coaching. I am offering monthly spiritual coaching. And prices do vary for business serious for serious business inquiries. Make sure you email me at TGC booking no s at uh, mail.com. So I still have candle um, candles available and other different things available as well. Other different uh, spiritual um, practices and root work for you as well. So I love you guys. We'll talk more. Uh, stay tuned for also I'm going to be offering the workshop. I just uploaded last week last weekend. The first of uh, first of many videos for the candle series as a part of our workshop. 
and we're going to host an actual live workshop where I'm going to actually walk you through some things, the basics, especially when it comes to working with angels and other things as well. All right. So I love you guys. And to my tarot readers, uh, of course, keep it popping. Uh, make sure you check out my past live streams over on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook, especially over there on YouTube. My uh, latest content over on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram. So YouTube's becoming the Mecca with TikTok and Instagram as well. Uh, for the latest content, follow me on YouTube and off YouTube, Instagram, TikTok to stay up to date. And I love you guys very much. So you can email me at goddesscomplex777 at gmail.com for any information, questions, or inquiries as well. I love you. I'll see you guys later for the next Aries Collective season reading.